Hello, and welcome to a new edition of Rudiments 201. Today, a pair of digital. Watch this, we're going to go over that way. Oh, now, I don't have any makeup on, actually. But maybe a little bit of bruge, and over, over a, you know, like a slight base, perhaps because, you know, to raise my cheekbones a little bit. But, okay, look, a lot has happened since I last did my thing. As you can see, I'm in a new place. Uh, this is the kitchen, actually. And I might be yelling a little bit, but it's because the camera's so far away. It's like way over there. Like over there, that way. This is the kitchen. It's like an island in the kitchen. The kitchen, and that's the lab for the perfume stuff that I do, you know. Behind there is where it's supposed to, the drum stuff's supposed to be over there. But I haven't got it set up because it's, I just don't. That's the bedroom over there. That's the extra bathroom, but it's full of crap right now because I've got so much stuff, I don't know where it come from. So, what happened is, that changed all this sort of stuff, is that my pops died. Yeah, he died. He'd been sick a long time, you know. And uh, he went to the hospital this last time and I asked him, I said, you know, pops, are you, are you ready to go? And, and he said that he was, but he said it very weakly because he was very sick. So, you know, I asked him, you know, can you take mum with you? And he said, no, I couldn't believe it. So I was like, all right, well, I'll go for something a little bit easier. I said, hey, Pops, could you sign right here? Just... And he said, no. So, you know, then, I said, well, you know that secretary you have? You mind if I give her a go? And he said, no, which is good. So then I said, well, Pops, I'd like to stay, but I've got to go get my hair done for the funeral. All right, skits over. Um, paradiddle this time, or whatever. I'm going to talk about two things on the paradiddle this time. And uh, one of them is how to improve the diddle part of the paradiddle and uh, speed. So let's go with the diddle part. I cannot play it the way I'm about to describe it, which is I'm, I'm going to describe a wrong way that I hear or a problem that I hear. And that's the problem where the diddle is weak, especially the second note of the diddle. The same problem that uh, happens in, in rolls, where the second note isn't as strong, you know? You, you, sometimes you might hear this kind of thing. Instead of... Now just practice practicing that on its own, uh, diddle control, will help the paradiddle. I know I'm playing on a pad, like I said, I don't have the drum stuff set up. I hope you can hear it. I'll find out in a minute when I go to, you know, to play this other. I wonder if I put it on this end. Yeah, let me do it on that. What the hell? So, one of the things you can do to help the diddle, I find, is play the paradiddle without the accent. In other words, instead of going, go, Because when you play the uh, the accent orally, a u r whatever means hearing wise, it it diminishes the sound of the following notes. In other words, if you have a uh, uh, what do you call it, a loud note followed immediately by a soft note like this, it, it you don't really hear the second one. In other words, like a flam, if I, you know, it's the grace note and then the big note. You hear it. Well, if you did them things that they call mouths, which is the reverse flam, where you have the primary note first and then the grace note, it, it makes no sense. You don't hear the next note. So applying that principle, when you do this, If you notice many times, it's harder to hear that second note. 
So then the next two notes your, your ear really picks up, it, it'll be like this. Uh, okay? So in order to help the diddles, play them without the accent. Possibly do like uh, four beats of uh, basically a roll. And then start it on the left hand. And you know, and then if you want to add the accent later. sounded loud and, and then the accent in you know, yeah whatever uh try that uh, and then also just try playing the paradiddles faster as you can without the accent and you know start on the left always just mostly for brain control I'm done with that. Speed. You know, everybody wants to play them faster. Uh, one, uh, one way to, to help get them faster is to train yourself and your brain that uh, you can get them faster. A lot of times, people, when they practice, they, they, they gradually build to getting faster. You know, but you, you want to have an end result that you already know is attainable and that you can do. But many times you have to prove it to yourself. So one of the ways to do that is to just play one paradiddle as fast as you can. Doesn't matter what kind of technique you use. Okay? You know, you just want to go. You know? So you can do take it take it take it. You know you can you can do one like that, right? So then try two. Okay, you can do that. So then when you, you, you know, you can just try to, to get a few together. So then you know you can get there. Now I slowed that down. If I did one, it'd be like. And of course, try it on the left. Okay, so if you can do it that fast, then you, you know, you know. Okay, but many times when you really push it and you can do one, then you know, okay, well, I can do one, so I know if I can do one, I just have to learn how to do two and then three and then and then build from there. So then that's when you, you already know I can get that done, that done. You get that, that tip of you now? You know, you're hearing that and then you, you keep pushing for it. So you put, what I used to do is I used to put a song on that I liked. I didn't do metronomes because it, it was just a, and I wanted to, to hear something. And, and back in the 80s, it, you know, whatever song it was, and I would play paradiddles for the whole song. So it, it would be three minutes or whatever of just doing it straight, and I knew what my goal was. But what I was doing is I was building endurance at that speed. Then there would be another song that was faster, or I think I had something where it could speed it up or whatever. And then I, I would do it at that speed for three minutes or whatever. So before you know it, you you got a song, you know, and you're, you're going at this tempo. And then you're doing it for three minutes. And when you can do that sort of thing, well, you've, you can, you've got that bass. Now build on to the next one, to the next one, and before you know it,
you know, and then see if you can. I don't know the reason why you would be, you know, need to do that for three minutes or whatever, which I'm sure right now I could not. I already know, so I can feel that right there. Well, I don't know what I was going to say there, but okay, whatever. You've got some stuff to work on, and apparently so do I. <laughs> and I don't have to talk like an Englishman anymore. Oh, bloody hell, piss that hurts. Good lord. All right. I got to go off camera because I got to walk around this island. Unless I can, I can do it like this. Watch this. Oh, there's something in the way. <laughs> I did it. Hey, y'all. Look, have fun. And enjoy that. And, uh, oh, yeah, that, that's not the camera. This is the camera. So have fun. Remember, it's just drums, and I'll see y'all later. Thanks.